Hey co friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna go shopping, but I am nine months pregnant. So I actually brought a trash bag to sit on just in case my water breaks. Yeah. We're at that point, people, we're at that point. Whew, it's actually kind of sketch to have a trash bag in your car. It's like, am I gonna go chop up a body or what? Like why, why is this here? If you are a regular on my channel, thanks for coming back. You guys know that this year, 2020, we are doing the hair growth challenge. So I'm challenging all of you to see how long we all can get our hair to grow in one year. So we're going to need a little bit of assistance from some products, you know, whatever's out there. So I'm about to go run into Ulta, maybe Target, and just see what kind of products are out there that specifically say for hair growth. Not something that has good ingredients like jojoba oil or Jamaican black castor oil or you know there's ingredients that help with hair growth obviously but I'm looking for products that straight up say that this is going to help your hair growth and we're going to hold them accountable so let's go see what we can find and um try not to buy too much <laughs> Now, if you're new to my channel, it's not too late to join the Hair Growth Challenge. Watch my other video that I have. I'll put it in the description box and you can join us in this hair growth journey. The music is loud. <laughs> now, the reason I like coming to Ulta, besides having a special place in my heart, because I used to be on one of these walls, but they have like a mix of high-end and affordable prices and they always have sales. Quick plug, Not Your Mother's is here. Buy one, get one 50% off. Definitely get the mousse, my favorite. But Not Your Mother's doesn't have anything specifically for hair growth and neither does OGX or Maui Moisture. So let's keep looking. The enemy. Oh, y'all stay away from this section. This is the no-no area, this is naughty. Okay, let's see what Shea Moisture has in store. Quick voiceover because the music in Ulta was super loud, but Shea Moisture got that Kush line now? What is this? Cannabis Sativa Hemp Seed Oil, um, but it claims to not have any THC or CBD in it, but Lush Length Shampoo. Interesting. So they have the shampoo, sulfate paraben silicone free, and they have the matching conditioner and the Lush Length Light Leave-In. We are looking for words like length, so this could be cool. They got some oils. Might need to come back for the oil video. Hmm, to my surprise, there's actually not a lot of products, at least for curly hair, that's claiming to work for hair growth. Aside from one that I already plan on using this year, which is Curl Smith. You know, it's important to have a clean scalp for hair growth. That's where your hair is growing from. So they have their shampoo, which I've already talked about on my channel. Their primer is what has rice water in it. So that's definitely going to be good for hair growth. And they have their conditioner, but they straight up have a scalp stimulating booster. And then they have full length density elixir. And when I'm ready, ultimate 30 day therapy for longer hair, biotin, collagen. So this might be the move for me this year. Let's see, what about this one? Biotin boost, biotin collagen, free of sulfates and parabens, thickening shampoo, but cyclopentacillazane, that's a silicone. Bummer, not trying that one. Wow, that was surprisingly kind of a fail. I mean, I saw some new products, but not a lot about hair growth. Let's try Target. Look at this Jesus parking spot right here. Oh, thank you. I did not want to walk. Next stop, Target. Now, I actually didn't come here to actually buy anything, just to show you guys things. But since we're in Target, I brought bags because... <laughs> You're gonna buy something. All right, we got some more OGX, biotin and collagen, but their conditioner has cyclopentacillazine, meaning it has, oh, and dimethicone. So that has silicone, but I think their shampoos are at least sulfate free. So we could try this shampoo. Garnier Fertis straight up says, Grow Strong Shampoo and Conditioner. I'll bet you $5 
it has silicone in it let's see right there ammo dimethicone so that's not really going to help you with hair growth if you have a bunch of buildup is it sodium lorith sulfate and it has sulfate in the shampoo okay not gonna use those Myel Organic has a rosemary mint strengthening hair mask infused with biotin encourages growth. Ooh, this could be a good one. And I'm pretty sure Myel is always sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Myel also has a scalp and hair strengthening oil encourages growth. Ooh, I like this. These are both $9.99. Okay. Those are good options, people. Cantu, tea tree and jojoba hair and scalp oil. Conditions scalp and encourages growth. This could be a great option. Let's just check the back real quick. Good, no sulfate, no parabens, no silicone. This could be a good thing to try. All right, now I definitely know Curls has a hair growth thing. They have hair growth oil. Um, is this supposed to help with hair? Oh yeah, this leave-in conditioner is supposed to help with hair growth. And they also have their liquid vitamins that you drink daily. So that could be an option. The main choice, soft as can be, three in one, revitalizing and refresh conditioner, natural growth and retention solution. Shorter product buildup, okay. And this one should also be sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Could be a good one. This one is $13.99. Camille Rose Ultimate Growth Serum nice to combat thinning and hair breakage this one is $15.99 all good ingredients oh that could be a fun one mark anthony grow long but this one does have ammo dimethicone oh no just dimethicone in this one oh and cyclopentacillazine dang two types of silicone and then i grabbed the shampoo thinking like, okay well we could at least use the shampoo sulfate free but amyl dimethicone in the shampoo like why fail okay i'm feeling better now i didn't think there's gonna be any options i knew there had to be some brands that literally put hair growth on the bottle so we got a couple options i think that's kind of it everything else here is full of sulfate silicone okay that was way more successful and did I buy anything yes a banana rack don't ask it's just it's just things you buy when you go to Target one more stop Sally Beauty Supply let's try all right let's see oh good they have it I saw this online can to shea butter grow strong strengthening treatment sulfate paraben silicone free Good for strengthening fragile weak hair, minimize breakage. Cool. Okay, that could be a good option. Um, they have some type of oils over here. Hair growth oil, Bio 7. Black seed oil, black castor oil, rosemary, neem oil. It's like a mixture. Interesting. Apply to the scalp after each wash. I wonder what it smells like. smells natural all right sally beauty has a lot more main choice biotin infused styling gel natural growth retention solution a gel for hair growth this has my name all over it and usually gels are good with not having sulfate paraben or silicone looks good it has biotin yeah wow Having a styler to help you with the hair growth could be clutch. Metabolism Plus hair helps hair to grow longer, thicker, faster. These vitamins are $25. The gel is $12.29, but you get a huge thing. Oh, they have mousse. Not for hair growth, but just good to know. As I am, Long and Lux Grow Wash Cleansing Cream Conditioner. But unfortunately, it has silicone, so can't use that one but they also have a grow hair oil and usually oils are okay yep silicone free okay possible oh here they have the whole mile line 
So yeah, this whole line is supposed to encourage growth. And it has biotin. They have a styling cream, edge control, hair mask, shampoo, and oil. I'm gonna have to get this whole line. I might need to get this right now though. Eight bucks, it's a little, little, little container, but I don't want my edges to fall out after this baby gets here. Oh, here's another one I gotta talk about. I've been waiting for Palmer's to send me this, but they have their cocoa butter and biotin length retention shampoo conditioner leave-in. Oh, they have a styling product, cream styler, shine, glaze serum. Let's see. Oh, breaking stuff. Don't mind me. But yeah, this is another option. And right on the bottle, sulfate paraben silicone free. Gotta try this whole line. So I'm gonna get this little edge control right now. It's the only one I'm gonna buy today because I don't have any edge control and the ones that I use now are like making me flake. So yeah, this is the one. All right, just made it home. <laughs> We're not filming at that angle. Um, but I found some pretty good products. A lot of products that I haven't heard of or tried before, but I think that's gonna be the move for this year's challenge. I wanna try products that are actually claiming to grow our hair. As many of you know, I am someone that likes to keep products accountable for what they're claiming to do and only what they're claiming to do. So I don't use leave-in conditioners thinking that's gonna give me hold and definition because that's usually nowhere on the bottle. Okay, so read the bottle and see if it's actually claiming to grow your hair. Now, just because something says hair growth doesn't mean it's gonna work. No, but that's my job to figure out which ones actually are true. But if you use a product that's not even claiming to make your hair grow, you can't be mad at it for not growing your hair, right? Now, before you go out and buy these products, I want you to check your own stash. I know a lot of you are product junkies, so look through your own collection first. See what products you have that already claim to grow your hair. Scalp is good. Certain hair growth ingredients are good. But we want to look for like biotin or actual hair growth products use those commit to those for like the whole month and see if you see a difference now last week we made our very own diy length check t-shirt so we can measure how long our hair is growing if you haven't seen i'll link that below as well but make sure you check it out make your length check t-shirt so we can see how long our hair is going to grow between now january to the end of the year so with all this said I have to announce that I'm going to go on a little maternity leave. This is going to be my last video for, I don't know, <laughs> I'm forcing myself to take this break. Granted, I am tired, but I really just want to take this last two weeks. I only have two weeks left if he comes on time um, and just like relax and prepare for the baby's arrival. So I hope you guys understand. Dan, I will come back as soon as I feel up to it. Don't know when that's going to be, but everyone's telling me I need to get my sleep. And as you guys know, when I edit my videos, I don't get any sleep. I stay up till 3 a.m. So your homework while I'm gone is to find some hair growth products and only use products that are claiming to grow your hair for the rest of the month. Now, obviously, you're going to see the best results for those of you that are deep conditioning once a week, for those of you that are not straightening your hair, and for those of you that are drinking lots of water. Doing those three plus adding product that's claiming to grow your hair, that sounds like a good plan to me. So that's what I want you guys to do and focus on while I'm gone. And then when I come back, I'll actually pick certain products to try for the whole month. Now, if you miss me while I'm gone, I'm still going to be on Instagram. So make sure you follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. It's going to be so much easier just to post something to my story versus sitting down, filming and editing a full video. So follow me right now. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And luckily, my husband and I have filmed a lot of baby stuff already, like in the archives, so our RMB family page we just created is probably gonna have more videos before Beyond Grenade today. So subscribe to our new channel, R, the letter N, B, fam, and you could see how I got to this point right here. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I might be bumpless in that video. I will be a full 
mom in that video with child? Wow. That's crazy. This might be the last video I do without having a crying baby next to me. That's crazy. All right, guys, say a prayer for me. Show me some love on Instagram. I'll let you know when he gets here, and I'll see you next time. Love ya. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.